hey there loves welcome and welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is Leticia and on this channel we do everything home when it comes to DIYs home decor clean with me cooking the whole shebang we do it all and I also do sprinkle in a little bit of lifestyle on this channel as well so if that is something that you guys are interested in please do consider subscribing to this channel now Today we are back in the kitchen. If you can't see, because I'm on the other side that I'm hardly ever on in any of my videos, we are back in the kitchen and this is my coffee slash tea station area. So what I want to do is try my best to make this area aesthetically pleasing. Now, that's going to be kind of hard because like I said, we're in a very small kitchen so I struggle with storage. So I can't take any of my machines off my countertop to put away in the cupboard. I have to use this countertop because there's nowhere else to place them. And I don't want to take the machines out of the kitchen to place them on my, uh, what's it called? The area where you, what is it? Buffet. I don't want to place them on the buffet table, which is on a buffet counter what is outside of the kitchen. I want to keep everything inside the kitchen. So my plan is to take everything down and just clean the table off and rearrange it. So I want to take off the toaster permanently, but I am going to leave all of the coffee machines and the tea machine as well as the egg cooker because we do have an egg cooker as well. And I just want to try my best to not overcrowd the table, but to make it functional or functional, child, please, I just be talking too fast sometimes. Functional as well as aesthetically, you know, pleasing. I want it to look cute, you know? Well, as cute as it could look. <laughs> so let's go ahead and I'm going to take you guys down. I did buy one other item that I didn't have, which is this tray, and I bought this for. $2.99 and I bought it from kick as well you guys know I go to kick because they have really really cheap things that you can you know do a lot of makeover with or or at least spruce up an area with for little to nothing and I bought that tray because it matches our tea boxes that we got a while back from kick as well and I bought these for four euros so that's why I got the wooden tray because it matches the tea boxes and I'm also going to be using a few items that are recycled and I want to say recycled because they're jars that I bought honey in and I just didn't feel that it made sense throwing them away to purchase empty jars it just to me it just wasn't making sense <laughs> so what I did was I kept a few and when I say a few, I mean like four or so, but I'm not gonna use all of them in this video. I kept a few of my honey jars, and they are glass, and the top is gold, so all I did was wash them out, clean off all of the uh, labeling, and I just kept them. So I'm just gonna use this to put maybe um, sugar in or whatnot, something to put on the countertop. And I just didn't feel like it made sense to throw them away just to buy empty ones is it only me <laughs> it just didn't make sense to me so I'm going to be recycling those or repurposing those for my little coffee bar area so that's enough talking let me put you guys down so you can see what I'm doing I'm just going to move everything off of the countertop and then we're going to go ahead and start to rearrange it to make it look cute we're going to try it Try. Try is the key word. Okay, so let me put you guys down so we can get into this little transformation. So this is how everything is looking before I clean the countertops off. Y'all, I forgot how heavy this machine is. Like, I was struggling. I couldn't let y'all see me struggling like that. <laughs> So I got the machine down off the bar um, window because that's where we had it at first because like I said, this machine is very, very big and we had 
no room and I couldn't put it too close to the bar window frame because it does extend out a little bit but I put it in the corner there where it's just against the wall and I think that's enough space so I'm just going to go ahead and try to arrange everything how I would like to see it and then what I don't like I'll just go ahead and change it around a bit so I won't be talking too much I'll just let you guys watch me you know try to get it together and then I will come back at the end of the video when everything is together or I may pop in now and then you know how I go <laughs> but let's try to make this thing cute okay try keyword is try we'll never know if we don't try right let's do this
before the final reveal, let's just go ahead and take a look back. And now it's perfect. Get a little bit of sequence. It looks amazing. So everything is completed and I am so, so happy with the results. I love how every single thing looks. Okay, so you guys know that I always use Canva for my labels because it's free. This is not sponsored at all. It's a free app and I just love using it because it's easy to use. And of course, I did my labels for all of my jars. Well, except for the white one, but I did my labels for my repurposed jars and I just feel that they look so cute and so well put together. And even though we don't use white sugar like that, my husband bought these sugar cubes. I just put it there because it looks cute. <laughs> I just put some out, but I always use, of course, my brown sugar inside my Earl Grey tea or sometimes in my coffee. But I love my sugar-free syrup. I think the only thing that I want to look for now is to pump for the syrup. Other than that, I always buy these syrups inside caramel and vanilla. So those are my two go-to flavors. And I have just a little teeny bit left over in the other jars that I'm going to use right now to make me a nice cup of coffee. And of course these cups are cups that my husband had a, a long time ago, um, for a long time now, and we never use it. We have like a dozen there. So I decided to put these out on the countertop because they're so cute and they say coffee. <laughs> so because they say coffee, I just decided to go ahead and just Put them out because they just look so nice and I just feel like they fit the aesthetic. I was going to move the photo down but I changed my mind because I feel like it is in a perfect position for the coffee machine. I don't want to lower it any more than that but other than that everything just looks so amazing. I am so satisfied with it. If you guys enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up comment down below let me know if you enjoyed this video also let me know if you have a coffee station or coffee bar at your home or if you're going to try to create one mine is very small and personal but i love it i was thinking about adding a uh, two-tiered um stand but i really don't think it's needed everything just looks perfect i I love it. For right now, it's good until I decide to change it again because you know how we girls go. We love changing up the home. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this once again, please give me a big thumbs up and I will see y'all in my next video. So until then, choose.